Hi, today we are going to learn how to run a live video on YouTube. So this would be our test video. As you can see, it's a video on the Piccadilly Square on London. And after the process, we are going to detect all the objects in this video. Very cool. I really recommend you to subscribe to my channel. More videos will be uploaded soon. So let's start with the installation. So this is the installation part. You can uh, watch uh, this video that I explained earlier how to install the YOLO V8 for object detection. Just a short, um, short summary. You, you should create a new Conda environment based on 3.8, Python 3.8. Then install the relevant PyTorch framework. As you can see, since I have CUDA 11.8, and I explained in my previous video how to find out what is your CUDA version based on this command. So after you find your CUDA version, you should choose the relevant uh, PyTorch version. I chose to install the 2.1.1. Then I installed the YOLO V8. And I installed basically the 8.1 version. And then in order to um, to do object detection on a YouTube videos, you should install these two Python libraries as well. Next, let's uh, watch our video. We will use this video. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, uh, the Piccadilly Circus in London. And what we are going to do, we will stream the video extract the video on runtime and do an object detection for the frames and display those frames smoothly so basically you will watch the same video with all the object detection through the process as always i will leave a link for this video and a link for the code that we will run through this tutorial so let's start so let's go to the, our VS Code and we will start with the creating a new Python file. Let's name it run inference on YouTube video. Great. We will start with the importing the necessary libraries. CV2 is for OpenCV and we also import a YOLO from the Ultralytics and from vidgear we will import camgear function it will help us to stream a YouTube video file. Next we will set the path for our video file we will use the camgear in order to stream video from YouTube. The stream mode through parameter enables streaming mode and login through enables login for debugging purposes. Great. Next, now we will load the YOLO V8 model. We are using the YOLO V8 Nano model, which is the lightweight version of YOLO V8. And this model loaded using the YOLO class and specifying the model file with the YOLO V8 n.pt. Then we will define our threshold. Let's start with, with the 0.5 and then we will start reading the video frames in a loop the while through loop will keep running until we break it so we will use the function read out of the stream object in order to load the frames and then we will check if the frame is none if it is it means the video has ended or there was an error reading the frame and we are going to break the loop. Great, let's continue to the next command. Now we will pass the frame to the YOLO model to get the detection results. The zero in brackets is used to access the first element of the results which contain the bounding box information. Then we will iterate 
over each detection result. Each result contains the coordinates of the bounded box, the confidence score, and the class ID. So if the score is above our threshold, we will uh, draw a rectangle around our detected object. So we will draw this detection about, uh, around the detected object and put the label with the class name above it. The x, x1, y1, x2, y2 are the coordinates of our rectangle and since we will use it, we will use the, the integer of these values, let's create and the integer of x, x1, y1, x2 and y2 since we will use it for our put text function as well. So now it's more simple to read. These are the position of the rectangle, the color and how thickness is the line of the rectangle. Then we will use the put text and we will grab the name of our class uh, from our results. We will send the class ID and we will do it in on uppercase. Once again, it's the position of the text. Let's put it uh, 10 pixels above our rectangle. We will choose a font and the thickness of the text and the color of the text. Okay, now we will display the frame with the detections using the OpenCV IM Show function. And since, since we are displaying this frame in a while loop, basically we will display a video, a running video uh, through all these frames. Now we will check if a key, if, if the Q key was pressed and then it will help us to break the loop and stop the video during the display and during this process. Finally, we will release the video window and stop the video stream. Uh, I forgot to add the start function and also let's start with a lower value 0 0.25. Let's see what the results. Great, as you can see, detect persons and cars and the truck as well. And also you can see here for each frame, the detection information and the time for the detection. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You're most welcome to subscribe. Bye bye.